defense. So definitely getting back, uh, getting them back on that field was really important to us. And uh, yeah, we're about to have them back. So the SEC player, uh, defense player of the week again. Yes, um, what does that mean? Two the last three weeks, it's got to it's got to feel good, make you proud, right? Yeah, and it also means great D line play. You know, I said every week I can't do anything without my D linemen and. Uh, all credit to them for the work they're doing by keeping those old linemen off me. And, uh, because of them, I'm able to have the opportunity to uh, uh, make those tackles for, uh, in order to run the team. Why do you think they're able to keep those D linemen off you? What are the specific things that they're doing so well to help you get uh, Just playing the technique. You know, when they're four out, uh, they're stretching the uh, guards and tackles. When they're three technique, they're also doing the same thing. Uh, they're just being real stout on their, uh, their gaps and allowing me to play over the top of them. and. Uh, they're just uh, taking in two old linemen, so they're doing a real, really good job of just being stout and uh, showing their gaps. JJ came in for both you and Henry at points during the game. How did he, JJ Peterson, do? Well, he, he did good. You know, he came in and played two different positions, so uh, that's definitely something that he brings to the table each and every week. So we're definitely gl uh, glad to have JJ there because he's a really good young, young talent. How has he grown and progressed? A lot of people expected him to come in and be instant impact. But you know, last year was kind of tough for him. Uh, what, how has he grown as a player? Uh, uh, really a lot. You know, we all have our own uh, walks and journeys in life, and uh, JJ's in his. So uh, he's definitely going to be ready when his time is called. You know, he's one of those guys that comes in uh, really eager to learn as well. So I'm definitely excited about his future as well. When you came back from the end of this year, how long did it really <coughs> take you to get back into what you considered to be kind of peak form? A while, a while, you know. Uh, it's obviously surgery and having to deal with it, uh, getting extra treatment and uh, being able to maintain uh, the same level of intensity you were playing with uh, before. But I'm definitely good where I'm at right now, and I'm excited to finish off the season. And you've been in a couple of those games in your career. You had the Georgia Tech game a couple of years ago. You had 23 tackles or something yes, like 19 the other night, both against teams that run a lot. I mean, what, what's it like to play in a game like that where you know they're running almost every snap? Is it kind of a fun challenge? Or Oh yeah, I love it. I love it. You know, I, I love when the team decides to run the ball because I get to get more tackles. You know, I'm a linebacker. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm made for. That's what all those workouts that we do with Coach Fitz are for. So, I definitely love a team that uh, thinks they can come in and run the ball on us. And you know, did you know it was going to be that kind of game where you might end up having to make 19 tackles, or was that a, a surprise that ended up like that? Oh, uh, you know, I go into every game thinking I'm going to get 20 tackles. So, uh, when it when it happens. Uh, Definitely happy about it. Definitely fortunate, fortunate about it. But I like I said again, the topic is my D line, how well they've been playing, and uh, just uh, grateful and thankful to them. When you go back and watch film on a game like that, how do you grade yourself in a game where you make 19 tackles? Is there much you can improve on? Oh, definitely. You know, there's uh, Coach Pruitt says it all the time. Uh, uh, with a the loss, there's a lot of things. There's a lot more things that you can. Um, uh, look over and see that you messed up on, but uh, with a win, uh, we tend to try to overlook all the negative things we did, but there's still those negative things that we did during the football game because nobody really plays a perfect football game, so I just got to uh, look at those things. I felt like uh, this past game, I kind of overran some tackles that I could have uh, stopped like uh, from that point on when I hit the running back, but uh, just, yeah, definitely a lot of things I can clean up. What kind of mentality does it take to be a really good tackler, and how did you kind of develop that skill? I've always said that. You know, there's one thing uh, going into football that I said uh, somebody would never question. That's just my worth ethic. You know, at the end of the day, football is a physical sport, and uh, when you hit somebody, it's mano a mano. It's a man thing, and it's a really a pride thing. And I really pride myself on not letting anybody run through me. So. Why did you kind of gravitate to that role? Why did you kind of like being a guy who kind of hit people and stuff and hit that type of thing? I, I got two older brothers. I got hit on a lot. So <laughs> uh, I just uh, grew that mindset at, the, at a young age. You know, if you're not ready or firm, like on your ground, you're going to get bullied. So uh, definitely having two older brothers that beat up on me at a young age really taught me to just have a stronger mindset and, uh, yeah, just being aggressive. How old were you when you started being able to fight back and kind of get your, your licks in? <laughs> uh, I'd say it's like my freshman year. You know, my, my brother, uh, Ryan, he's into a lot of kickboxing. So uh, still to this day, I, I, I still don't think I can beat him because he's so <laughs> good. But, you know, yeah, it's, it's my, I was at my freshman year when I really started competing with them boys. How much older are they than you? 
Uh, Randy is like nine years, and Roland, my second older brother, he's like three years older than me, so I, I think I got him now. <laughs> we talked to a, a few other players just about, and each kind of says they're taking it one day at a time right now, especially in the bye week. When you're on a three-game win streak, how much does that help have that mentality and you're kind of seeing what you've been doing pay off? Uh, it helps a lot. Uh, it just reminds us if we continue to work the way we have been uh, each and every day, if we win each and every uh, practice that we're uh, going into, uh, things like this are going to happen. So. We just got to keep that same mindset because we know if we don't come out with our A, uh, a game each and every game, anything can beat us. So just definitely uh, definitely coming out with that mindset. Daniel, I know 